In this video, I'm out in Pinellas County, Florida, and I'm gonna take you on a tour of three waterfront homes. Some have had massive price reductions, so if you like home tours, stick around. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Josh Bryan, and I'm your Tampa Bay area real estate expert. So if you're thinking about making a move, reach out, I'd love to help you. My contact information is in the description below, but enough talking, let's start today's tour. All right, so I'm gonna apologize for the wind right now. But we are in the Shore Acres area of St. Petersburg, and this is a three bedroom, two bath, 1793 square feet. Does have a private pool, built in 1956. No HOA, no CDD fee, currently listed at $899,000. And the 2023 property tax bill was 6664. So let me pan around real quick, and we will go inside and take a look. All right, so nice long driveway. Completely renovated as, as you'll see inside, but let's go inside and take a look at this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. So come in the front door, right to the right is gonna be the kitchen here. You got your quartz countertops, stainless steel refrigerator white range and microwave. I wish they would have updated those when they updated everything else to match the stainless steel, but that's an easy fix. Stainless steel dishwasher, got your single bowl under mountain sink there. And let's go over here to the left first. So on this side over here, you're gonna have two bedrooms and a bathroom. Right there is gonna be your air handler. To the right, right here, bathroom number one. And then you have a linen closet right there. Bedroom number one. And bedroom number two. So I like the shutters, get the ceiling fan in here. I like the panel uh, doors as well. All right, coming over here. Let's go out here. This is gonna be the uh, living room slash family room. Nice size room here. Looks like brand new sliding glass doors, but we'll go out to the back in a minute. And then over this area over here, this is gonna be your pantry right here. So you just got some shelving here for the pantry. Looks like they leave their trash can in there too. And then right here, it's gonna be the laundry. You have a stackable washer and dryer. And then the master suite is gonna be back here. So you come in, bedroom over here, different tile floor on this side. And then you have your walk-in closet right over here. And then bathroom is gonna be right here. Wish they would have updated the tile in the shower as well but they didn't. And then obviously the toilet's gonna be right there. All right, let's go out this door right here. So right here to the right, you're gonna have a ironing board. Now let's go out here, take a look at this. This is the main reason we're here, because it's waterfront. So you, all, you do have the covered pool cage well not cover but you know what I mean pool cage and I should have undid this first All right. so now we open up the safety net to the pool there you go with a nice pool there and then you have a putting green out here so you come on out got your turf nice palm trees let's walk around here I'll show you this area, got the seashells 
And then you got a gate on that side. Let's walk over here. Didn't bring my putter. Dang it. Nice little pergola there to hang out. And then you have your turf here. And then all your pool equipment there. A little storage shed there. And the gate all the way down. And then over here, you have your boat lift, nice dock. And then you can just take this on out into the bay. So let's go out here. Got your spot here to clean your fish. Man, I'd just be sitting here working out here, sitting out here every night fishing. But nice breeze today, nice view out here. Turn around to give you a view of the back of the home. And that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. All right, so this one is in Oldsmar. It's a four bedroom, two bath, 1932 square feet. Built in 1925. A lot of new here. Uh, originally listed at 849,900, but it has been reduced $285,000 down to 565. Let me pan around and show you what it looks like. Then we'll go inside and get out of this wind. But this one backs to a little canal uh, where you can take out like a small boat, jet skis, kayaks, that kind of stuff. We will see that shortly. And I'm going to say this. I mean, it's it's in the uh, MLS description, property description. So don't come at me for, for straight up just call this one out. Um, but the big price reduction on this particular property is not indicative of the market right now. And it straight up says it in the uh, listing description. The home was overpriced to begin with and the market had slowed. It is now priced to sell. So, you know, I don't know the story um, between the seller and the listing agent on this one, but if the listing agent, this is gonna be your laundry room here. If the listing agent told the seller, you know, whatever price, a lot less than the 849.9, and the seller didn't listen, well, that's proof that you need to uh, maybe listen to your agent sometimes, and you might not know everything. Um, so, I'll leave it at that. All right, so living room, I couldn't, the switch, for whatever reason, I couldn't get these lights on right here. And then you into the kitchen, so a big island here, you got the granite countertops, you got a door that goes out to the back porch there. It's a blue for the cabinets. You have a big undermount sink here. Nice big window to look out to the uh, backyard and the dock back there. And then across the way, you'll see it better, is a park. You have your stainless steel Appliances there, refrigerator here. And then this one's gonna have a first floor master, which we'll go and check out in a second because I'm gonna go with those doors to the backyard. But let's go upstairs and take a look. This one, I mean, it's a 1925 build, so I do feel a little, you know, slope. So with all these older homes, you know, I always recommend my clients just to have a structural engineer when you're doing your home inspections, just an extra inspection just to be safe. But bedroom number one here, got the mini split. As you can see, they're still, you know, putting in lights and stuff, but it's been on the market for a while, so should be done. But bathroom number one, you have your shower here. Nice marble on the shower floor. And then, you know, you got the angle here. Looks like a new skylight, but you know, could have done a little bit better here with a trim. And they may not be completely finished. I mean, you still got stickers on the vanity, so. Bedroom number two. Nice size bedroom though. And then the closet over here. And 
bedroom number three. Pretty much similar to the last one, just reversed. But smile and have a happy day. All right, so let's go back downstairs, take a look at the first floor master suite. It's got the nice vaulted ceiling. You do have a skylight up there. Behind the door is just a little bit of a niche there. Nothing important. Nice big ceiling fan. And it's a little weird here. You walk through the closet first to get to the bathroom. But you have your walk-in closet here. And then into the bathroom, you do have a pocket door. You know, I like pocket doors if you've been watching. And you have your sink there. That would be your linen closet. Shower here. All right, let's go outside. Let's take a look at the main reason we're here because you have water access. So brand new deck. Wish they would have stained it or something, but it is what it is, I guess. All right, so let's go down here. Give you a look at the uh, the back of the house while we're over here. Looks like the water's pretty low right now, so if you were to go and the sod's dying, so let's but maybe it's just, you know, because we are still in winter, technically. If you water it enough, maybe it'll come back. But obviously low tide right now. So you wouldn't want to st store anything out here, like a jet ski or a small boat, unless you put in a lift. But you have this little canal here, and it goes around there and right out to the bay. So that's going to do it for this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. All right, we are in Palm Harbor, and this is a three-bedroom, two-bath, 1946 square feet, built in 1990. It also has a private pool. There is an HOA fee here, believe it or not, but it's only $60 a year. Originally listed at $794,500. It has been reduced just a little over $79,000 down to $715,000. And the 2022 property tax bill was $4,800. So let me pan around, show what it looks like around the neighborhood. As you can see, there's a couple of new construction being built down in down there. Nice wide driveway, three car garage. Got that Florida paint job on the front. Let me know what you think about that. All right, let's go inside, take a look at this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. All right, so you come in the front door, you have the wood-like tile floor. Over to the left is gonna be the master suite. You do have the sliding glass doors that lead out to the covered lanai. You do have a vaulted ceiling as well. Do have a pocket door that goes into the bathroom. Funky blue continues on into the cabinets. Do have your walk-in shower right here. And I'm not sure if this is set up as an Airbnb or if it's just a, uh, you know, someone's um, winter getaway or what, but it's listed as vacant. So maybe just the Airbnb. Walk-in closet there. All right, it's coming on back out. As you can see, they have a dining room table set up right here. Sliding glass doors go out to the cover lanai. And then this would be a sitting area up front. You could also use it as your formal dining room. We'll go outside in a minute. 
Here's your kitchen here. Got your gray cabinets, your quartz countertops. It is a gas range here, so it's nice if you like to cook with gas. Keep that blue going through the uh, backsplash there in the range hood. I almost wonder if that range hood, huh? it's probably blue, but I wonder if it has, you know, sometimes they put that film over the stainless steel so it doesn't get scratched or dented. When... Probably not though, because you got the blue on the door on the handles too for the cabinet knobs. Laundry room is going to be right here. And out this door is going to go to that three car garage, which you have steps down, which is nice for the elevation in case you know, water comes up. But you come on down, you got your door right here that goes up to the side yard. And then they have the three car garage set up as a game room. You do have epoxy on the floor. Some cabinets over there. All right, so continue on. Went through the kitchen. Main living area here. Another set of side glass doors. You got the vaulted ceilings. And then right here, they had this set up as a linen closet. I would use this as the pantry since there wasn't one in the uh, kitchen. Okay. Bedroom number two, you do have a little nook right here. You got the dresser there, but you can set that up as a desk. Bathroom number two. I don't know, in my opinion, the whole thing needs to be updated, but maybe that's why they reduced the price. But I still honestly feel that it's overpriced for the condition. But that's just one man's opinion. All right, let's go outside, take a look at this cover lanai, and then the pool, and then the main reason we're here, because it's on the water. All right, so you come on out, got your covered and screened in lanai here. I apologize for the that humming, whining noise. They're working on that new build. As you can see here, the pool needs to be cleaned. Just come down the stairs, get your painted pool deck here. Nice size pool. And then your seawall over here. Got a swing. Let's take a look and see what we got down here to get down. All right, so Pretty steep stairs right there, but then you got your dock out here, and then you're on the canal. Go around that way, and it leads out to the Sound and then the Gulf of Mexico. So that's going to do it for this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below.